Uh, so it is, it is a, a lot of hard work that goes into these projects. They don't see success. They stick to their guts and they keep continuing forward. Um, we don't want this to be something serious. It's just fun and it's just supposed to signal to the, the community that we appreciate their amazing work. So there's a few award categories uh, that we would like to highlight. The first one is the Trojan Unicorn Award. So this is basically a project that kind of broke through to the mainstream and did not lose its core values within the ecosystem. The next one is Ethereum Educators Award. So Ethereum education or education onboarding for Web3 is one of the biggest challenges and projects that are working on this are quite imperative to the success of the ecosystem as a whole and we'd like to encourage more projects to be uh, kind of involved in this ecosystem as well. And then the most important is the Cypherpunk Award. So um, there's a lot of issues and concerns around the, the core values of the Web3 ecosystem and we want to keep sure that there's projects that are working on privacy, that are working on censorship resistance, and that they get highlighted in some manner, and that we keep encouraging people to kind of keep that core of Web3 close to their heart. And the last one is, y'all really thought we wouldn't award. This is a project that was delayed and delayed and delayed, and this beat the expectations of not ever shipping. So we'll start with the Trojan Unicorn Award. As I mentioned, this is supposed to signal the project that has the largest impact on bringing mass adoption to the ecosystem and not really uh, letting go of their core values that are close to the ecosystem and really breaking through. So the nominees are POAP, OpenSea, ENS, and Uniswap. So all, all these projects have had quite a few uh, moments as far as their breakout of success. You might have seen everyone in every event that we went to using pull apps, even at DEF CON, everyone's just taking that opportunity to scan each other. OpenSea, regardless of how other people in the ecosystem feel, was one of the biggest breakouts over the past few years as far as getting normies or people, no coiners, to encourage and engage with our technology. ENS, so coming from a very small team that was working on this core technology for X amount of years, six years, just sitting in a uh, get a channel, then a key base, et cetera, to see that every celebrity in the whole world was now having an ETH name attached to them was amazing. Uniswap, the amount of different ecosystems that kind of branched out from that organization and how many people were engaged with DeFi and trading was amazing to see. So please put your hand together for the winner, ENS. I'd love to welcome Nick and the ENS team to come up on stage and accept their award and tell us a little bit about ENS. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Woo. Thank you. This is amazing. It's, uh, yeah, yeah, thank you. Anyone, anyone from the team, uh, please come up and, and show them, show everyone. Um, Alex, what are you doing? Come up here. <laughs> Um, so it's, yeah, it's been five, six years since we started ENS. It started off as a part-time project in the Ethereum Foundation. It rapidly expanded to consume all my time. Uh, the EF made the very wise decision that we should graduate to our own project. Uh, it gave us very generous funding to get started, and e even so, it's been a long road to get here. But if you saw my talk the other day, uh, we've had wild success in terms of uh, the, the popularity and the adoption, and more importantly, the, the usability uh, improvements it's allowed, uh, to the point where I think everyone just assumes ENS is everywhere, which has always been our goal. Um, and so, yeah, I'm absolutely delighted to get this. Uh, I couldn't be happier. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. So the next category is education and developer onboarding. So as we start to scale our ecosystem, we need to make sure that people are, that are coming into the ecosystem understand what the technology is meant to do, what they should be aware of, when, what they should be focusing on. And as we get into different ecosystems and come to Bogota, come to different regions, we understand that our understanding of Ethereum and the Web3 ecosystem is drastically different for people who could actually benefit from the technology. And there's a lot of work that needs to be done as far as language, as far as people understanding the core technology, people understanding what they should be doing, what they shouldn't be doing. 
and we really need to, as a community, come together and make sure these resources are put together in a way that is, is understandable, is uh, accessible, and is friendly and able for any individual to kind of get onboarded and attract the right type of individuals who aren't motivated by the wrong incentives. So the nominees for the Ethereum Educators Awards are Ethereum.org, Hard Hat, Remix, and Speedrun Ethereum. So as mentioned, a lot of this work has been done around creating developer resources, making sure that onboarding and resources are available for people to get involved, make sure they're testing things, and then also make it playful and fun. And the winner for this category is Speedrun Ethereum. So Austin couldn't be here, but the Build Guild is here to accept the award as a core team. And they've done an amazing job making sure that getting onboarded to the developer ecosystem is fun, playful, and easy to understand. So thank you. Let Super. Me... Um, yeah, I wish Austin was here. <laughs> I know he would have done a better talk than what I'm going to be doing. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, but it's been great to be part of the Build Guild and work with developer onboarding. Um, and yeah, I'm going to keep it short, but basically our message is always to go to speedrunethereum.com if you're a developer or if you know developers, to tell them to go there. And yeah. Maybe you guys can tell a little bit about how that structure came together and what it's intended to do. Yeah, for sure. So basically, Austin created a starter kit called Scaffold ETH. And this is basically a decentralized application starter kit where you have different components involved. And after you kind of get the basis of, okay, like how do I create a starter kit application on Ethereum, then you can go to speedrunethereum.com, which walks you through a set of challenges which are a bit more advanced. Like you go from building your staking application, multi-sig, and kind of like get the sense of how you create applications. And yeah, and then come and join Build Guild. <laughs> so we're the Build Guild, which is the group on top of Speedrun Ethereum. All right, the next category is the Cypherpunk Award. And I think... Uh as different individuals come into the ecosystem, the core values of people coming in and working on the technology changes time to time. And it's important that individuals that are working on this core technology for privacy preserving, censorship resistance, and making sure that we have complete ownership of our data are highlighted. Um, unfortunately, due to legal reasons and us not wanting to dock some of these projects or the individuals that would be coming on stage. Uh, we just want to kind of highlight all the individuals and the communities and in projects that have been working on this stuff and will hopefully be able to encourage you and encourage the people that are sitting in this room to continue some of this work, but it's very, because it was very important and we're very, very aware that it's under attack by different forces, whether it's government agencies, whether it's different organizations, etc. So. I would encourage everyone to make sure if you do or if you are aware of these projects to appreciate them and whether you send them messages or you utilize their products, make sure that they feel appreciated and then that, that we're hoping and we're uh, wishing for their success in some capacity. So thanks to every project that's working on any type of zero knowledge proofs or anything that preserves our privacy, our data, security, and anything to do with um, moving this ecosystem forward towards the ethos that we believe in. So I would hope for you guys, everyone, to kind of join in and appreciate anyone that's been working on this technology as a whole. And then the last category is basically you really thought we would an award. So this is basically a project that the ecosystem has been waiting for for a long time. And time and time again, it gets delayed. People don't expect it to come together. Uh, people hope it doesn't come together from different ecosystems. And the story goes on and on and on and on. And the nominees are Serenity, Ethereum Proof of Stake, Ethereum 2.0, The Merge, The Docking, and the winners are The Merge. So I'd like to welcome Tim, Trent, and Danny on stage if they're all in the room. I appreciate it. Woo! Are they gonna make it on stage? No, it's coming. We're going to hit it soon. Cool. Uh, I just got here. Did people say stuff? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long time coming. You know. Uh, yeah, so first of all, this is T, T, and D. Um, T, T, D has arrived. But the, uh, the tiny, 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 tiny subset of the effort that went in here. So um, there might be more in the audience, and they're certainly having 
intense technical conversations all throughout this venue about the next step. Um, and I always thought it would happen. I, I, I know there's some haters out there, but I, I had no doubt, you know, Ethereum was going to transition to proof of stake. So it's just a matter of time and the time has come. So thank you. Any other, uh, no, yeah. No. no, thanks all the client teams, researchers. Um, I gave a whole talk about this on the opening day, so everyone mentioned that talk, another thank you. Um, and thanks for the prize, that's really neat. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Thank, you thank you, everyone. Yeah, so as mentioned, all the nominees for